Hi, three and four year old leader. We're getting ready for August 23rd in our series called Like Jesus. As we um, continue with these videos, I want to um, use our time together to better prepare you for what, what you have. Instead of me teaching you the lesson, I'm going to show you what's in your leader guide and then point out the things that I think are important for you. So there's a couple of things that I want you to know in case you've never paid attention. At the top of your leader guide, you will notice that there are just some highlighted words. Those highlighted words kind of give you an idea of where you're going in the day. So it tells you the memory verse, the big picture question, and the big picture question helps you um, kind of know the takeaway for the lesson today, as well as the bottom line. So between those two things, you should get a really good um, grasp for what the application is for the day, as well as the Christ connection. And so our lesson today is about the Samaritan woman. And if you'll notice in your leader guide, the next section is called leader notes. That is written by Pastor Mike, and he um, uses his Bible knowledge to help us understand the um, the the um, history of what it is that we're learning in our story today. So really, this is for you. That whole section is for you so that you have a better understanding of what it is you're talking about today. And so you don't have to teach that to the kids. That's not necessary. The video that you get that has the Bible story in it, that will do the whole Bible teaching. What I need for you to do is to concentrate on the application part. And the application part is written right here in the teaching focus. In the teaching focus, there will typically always be some words that say, as we teach kids about Jesus. And then whatever follows that, that is your application. And so today I'm gonna to tell you what that says. As you teach kids about Jesus, help them see that Jesus loves everyone. As you learned in the story today, Jesus helped a Samaritan woman. The Samaritans were not people that the Jews appreciated. In fact, many of them hated them. So much so that when they had to travel, they would not travel through Samaria. It'd be like um, if you had an issue with somebody on the north side of town. So you're never going to go to the north side Walmart because you would have to possibly see that person. This is exactly what... Um, what was happening in that community. So for Jesus to take time to first off be in Samaria, second off to talk to a woman, and then third to ask her to serve him, all of that was mind blowing in this, in this time. And so what we see is that by Jesus doing that, he loves everyone. He doesn't care about your race. He doesn't care about your color. He doesn't care about your gender. He cares and wants for every single person to have the chance to know that he is their savior. He used the word picture with the woman of the water to teach the, that she needed him. Just like we need water for our bodies to function well, we need the living water, Jesus, as our living water so that we can have eternal life with God. He tells her to that he seeks people to worship him in spirit and in truth. That means that he desires for us to worship Jesus with everything we have, with our whole head, with our whole heart, with our mouths, everything we say, everything we do, everything should be things that help point other people to Jesus and remind us that he is the Lord of our life. And so um, that is your lesson today. That's what you'll emphasize with kids. I will also point out to you that in the story time section, there is typically this part called talk about the Bible story. And it is written in amazing kid language that you could use word for word and read from the paper right here as a way to help give a synopsis of what you saw in the Bible video today. Your small group activities help you make the point that we made um, through the Bible lesson today. And so first you have your social activity. Now it won't as much. Your social activity is for you to build relationship with kids. It has no biblical 
intersection at all. It, what it is built in there to do is to help you build relationships with kids. And when you have relationships with kids, then you have the chance to share something big. I could talk till I'm blue in the face, but if I haven't spent time getting to know a kid and getting to know their name and getting to know everything about them, the, the, the probability of them hearing the gospel and accepting it is much less than if they had a relationship with me. And so that's what that activity is for. And you're going to play kind of a pick up sticks kind of game with different pieces of paper. I saw one leader do it this way. She gave the kids a big piece of paper that matched the little pieces of paper. And um, then they were supposed to go find all the little pieces of paper that matches their big piece of paper. However you want to do it, it's really just a fun way to get kids interacting with you and with each other. Then in your um, small group time, you um, have some supplies, some um, cardboard blocks and a cup. And what you're going to get kids to do is to help you build a water well. Now, they might not know what a water well looks like, or maybe you can talk to them. Maybe some of them live in the country and they, they know they have a well, but they're not, not sure what it looks like. So you may have to help them figure out what a water well looks like, or let them use their imagination and figure out whether you think that would hold water or not. And so use your blocks to build your well. And then what you're going to do with your cup that has a string in it is use this to pretend to get water out of your well. So they'll need to build something that they can get the cup down into their water well to get water and draw the water out to um, talk about the story. This would be a great way for you to act out the story with the kids and to talk about who gives us living water. Only Jesus can give us living water. Water is a great thing and we should all drink more water, especially Miss Christy. But um, we, I could never drink enough water to fill the God-sized hole that I have in my heart until I believe that Jesus is my savior. Um, your memory verse is John 3.16, and you have some motions that you can do there to um, encourage kids to memorize scripture. We memorize scripture so that on days where we need to know that God's word reminds us who he is, we have those things stored in our brain. And especially those little um, sponge brains that your three and four year olds have, they can learn to do this. And what a great way for them to build their lives to honor God by building it on a foundation of scripture memory. You also have some coloring pages um, and then you can um, play games some more if you would like to. I need you to help me um, clean and sanitize the room before you leave, please, uh, so that we are ready for the next group of kiddos that come in to, to um, children's ministry in the next few weeks. I am praying for you as we all start school this next week, especially my teacher friends, that you are, um, that you are finding new ways to be creative and to build relationships with your kiddos. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.